No, sir. Mr. Wilkie, uh, I was wondering if it'd be all right to ask the panel, as we've done a great job of a preview of y'all's books, every one of which I look forward to, to reading uh, about our history. But as we are now in the public relations and much uh, more worldwide awareness of Mississippi and some of our challenges, just like every other issue around the world, uh, whether they would support removing the Confederate battle flag from the canton of the state flag as a way to move into our future, which you alluded to in your question. Good question. If we'll see if people are willing to answer. <laughs> okay, we can start with Casey Morrison. Well, I'll give Aaron Henry's answer to that. And, uh, you know, after his social movement days, he, become, he became a politician and went to the state legislature. And one of the pieces of legislation uh, that he worked assiduously to get passed was the changing of, of the state flag. So that would be his response. Genius. Well, in the book, um, I say that the vote to keep the flag was uh, an early 21st century uh, insult to the black population of Mississippi. And uh, certainly uh, I would support changing the flag in the, the first uh, referendum on that. Uh, I and uh, all the other uh, professional historians in the state uh, issued a press release that David Sansing read on the Capitol steps endorsing um, a new flag. So. That's my answer. Thank you. I Thompson. thought about what Senator Stennis might do. You know, he was loyal to his ancestry, to his heritage. He uh, had his names of some of his relatives put on the marker there at DeKalb. He went to Gettysburg where his relatives were killed and the superintendent of the park showed him there and told him there was some land over there that they would like to buy, but it was gonna be bought for development. Stennis went back and had, had uh, the land purchased for the park service. So uh, he was loyal to the, to the, to the cause, but I think, uh, given his years in service and the fact that he kind of toward the end uh, changed and mellowed a little bit on the, on the policy of segregation, uh, I think he would probably vote now in a, as an atonement for some of his past things that uh, it should be taken down. I voted for it to be taken down in the first ballot. Thank you. Stuart Stevens. Um, you know, I think it's fascinating you look at Ole Miss, how they dealt with the, the Confederate flag where it was such an integral part of uh, the culture, Colonel Reb and all of that. Um, and, and now you have uh, both these high-profile uh, coaches in Mississippi State and Ole Miss calling for it to be taken down. I think it's sort of a, a fascinating um, uh, look at the, uh, the, the role of sports in all of this. Um, but but I, I would support it. Um, uh, absolutely, yeah. Governor? Well, let me tell you, the, the Mississippi flag is not offensive to me. It's been the flag since 1894, so it's a flag for 50 years before I was born, and it's been the flag for the whole 67 years I've, I've been here. Uh, but it is offensive to some people, and that's just a, that, that's just a fact. But I, I, I will say to you just very plainly, the people of Mississippi ought to decide this question. They decided to take the flag and make it the flag in 1894, and they I wasn't governor at the time, but they voted to keep it. And they ought not to be told by the New York Times or NBC what they got to do. And they don't want to be, they don't want to be told that. I think there will be probably another referendum. And I think the outcome will not be the same. Now, of course, it was a huge margin in, uh, when was it, Curtis? It was, it was before 2003, it was yeah, before I was yeah. governor anyway. Yeah, early uh, and, you know, it won't surprise me if people choose to change the flag. But it, it, the best way for that, if that's what you want to happen, is for it not to be that we're going to cram this down your throat because our people are pig-headed and they don't like to be told what to do. And that's just a fact. If we have the referendum, how will you vote, Governor? You know, the new governor, the last thing he ever wants to hear is the old governor says so-and-so. And so I told somebody on TV when this all started that 
I was going to stay out of it because the new governor deserved. William Winter never tried to tell me what to do. <laughs> and I don't ever try to tell Phil Bryant what to do. And Kirk Fordyce never tried to tell me what to do. So old politicians need to go with the way old generals. Okay. Well, if, if I'm included with the question, I'll be happy to respond as a great grandson of a uh, uh, members of the Confederate Army, in fact, is great-grandson of slaveholders, uh, I would emphatically uh, vote to uh, change our flag. And uh, I was pleased to be asked to sign the, uh, uh, the uh, advertisement that John Grisham and uh, Greg Isles put together that was in the Jackson newspaper this, this last. I was pleased to be asked and, and delighted to sign it. I think it's time. Did we still have time for questions, Chris? Yes, ma'am. The people of Mississippi voted to keep the flag, but clearly half of the people of Mississippi were suppressed and intimidated from voting. So I believe that there should be an executive action to remove the flag because voters will be kept from expressing their beliefs. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Hi, Senator. Fine. How are you, Governor? Uh, <clears throat> you were Governor, well, back in 2001, I was one of the advocates to change the flag because the flag really doesn't represent us. When I say us, I'm talking about all Mississippians. That's a slave flag, and really it's three million of us in, Amer in Mississippi, in the state of, our great state of Mississippi. We love Mississippi. But one million Afro-Americans, every time that flag flies, is a front to us. Because we gave 247 years of free labor to build this country and to build this South. 300, 247 years. And it break our heart to fly an emblem that re remind us that we were slaves. We're better than that as a state of three million people, one million Afro-America, let's get something that represents all of us. Because none, not any of us going anywhere. We love this state, but we hate to be embarrassed every time I come to this capital for the last 23 years, there's something flying above the capital reminding me that my ancestors were slaves after giving 247 years. Isn't there enough? It may have enough decency in, in decency in the state of Mississippi that we may change and get another emblem. Thank you. Thank you. 